Hello and welcome to Blue Helm Space News Briefing. And today marks the 51st anniversary of the day we landed on the moon. What's up, Neil Armstrong? Today's top stories. The United Arab Emirates celebrated the launch of its first interplanetary mission, according to Mars Daily. The long-anticipated blast-off of the unmanned spacecraft called HOPE occurred at 6.58 a.m. July 20th from Japan's Space Center. It is expected to reach Mars's orbit by February 2021, marking the 50th anniversary of the unification of UAE. SpaceX launches the Falcon 9, ornate with an Anasis 2 military communications satellite, from Space Launch Complex 40 of the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida today. The Anasis 2 satellite is billed as South Korea's first military satellite and was built by Airbus Defense and Space. It is designed to, quote, provide secure communications over wide coverage, according to Airbus. Three joysticks used to fly the historic spacecraft that carried the first astronauts to land on the moon have sold for more than $780,000. They include two rotational control sticks and a translational hand controller from the Apollo 11 command module, Columbia. They were offered at Julian's auction in Beverly Hills on Saturday, 51 years after the first lunar landing. Imagine a world where someone has your personal credit card information. Imagine they purchase a thousand feet of yarn, leaving you the bill and the headache of refuting charges with your bank. This all could have been avoided by using Future Shredding's contactless on-site shredding service. They specialize in procurement and destruction of personal information and follow HIPAA and FACTA guidelines. They'll even put together a custom pickup schedule for you or your business. Well, if you live in Southern California, visit their website at www.futureshredding.com or call them at 562-426-0557. The House and the Senate will debate Fiscal Year 2021 National Defense Authorization Act, or the NDAA, starting today. An amendment to extend operations of the International Space Station until 2030 was not approved for consideration. But there are a number of interesting space-related amendments, including one that requires the Space Force to use the same ranks as the Navy, example, an admiral, instead of the Army or the Air Force, example, the general. The Senate Commerce Committee space staffer Joel Graham said that the space weather bill is going through the process of getting approved by the Senate by unanimous consent, so it could come up at any time. Oh, hell.